now let's see this example construct dfa which accepts set of all strings over the alphabet 0 comma 1 in which every string starts with 1 and ends with 0 this is our first example whereas the second example is every string starts with 0 and ends with 1 okay so we have to construct dfa for these two examples here the alphabet mainly contains two symbols so what are the two symbols so sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 uh, let us uh, solve the first problem first what is the first problem every string starts with 1 and ends with 0 so the minimum possible string is 1 0 why because every string starts with 1 and ends with 0 so in between we can have any number of 1s and zeros. there is no constraint on that so 1 so after that we can have any number of zeros and 1s but every string should start with 1 and ends with 0 or we can have only a single 0 or we can have a single 1 okay so every string starts with 1 and ends with 0 so this is the language here every string should start with 1 and ends with 0 so here what is the minimum string the minimum string is 1 0 so 1 0 contains two characters so we require 2 plus 1 three states okay so let the starting state is q0 uh, next to state is q1 the next state is q why because here the minimum string contains here the minimum string is 1 0 so it contains two characters so if there are two characters then we require 2 plus 1 three states so 1 0 every string starts with 1 and ends with 0 suppose if if you got 0 at the first state then it is nothing but uh, not the correct string that string is not accepted by the dfa so we have to go to the dead state or hang state so till now we have taken q2 so next q3 so on q3 we can apply any number of zeros and ones but we will be at q3 only what is a dead state or hang state from the dead state or hang state we cannot go to any other state okay if the string starts with zero then we can say that it is not a valid string so that's why we are going to the dead state so from this state we can't go to any other state so this is nothing but not a accepted state okay uh, next so on q0 we have applied one and zero we know what is dfa dfa means on each state we have to apply all the symbols present in the alphabet here the alphabet contains 0 and 1 so we have to apply 0 and 1 on each and every state okay so here what is the constraint uh, every string starts with 1 and ends with 0 on q1 0 is applied so next we have to apply 1 on q1 so simply we can write the self loop here why because if we write the self loop then we can get 1 0 so string is starting with 1 and ending with 0 so there is no problem here so on q1 also 1 is applied 0 is applied okay here on q2 we have to apply 0 and 1 so here what is the constraint every string ends with 0 so after this 0 we can have any number of zeros there is no problem why because every string is ending with 0 so that's why here on q2 we applied uh, 0 input on the self loop okay so self loop 0 input next we have to apply 1 on q2 so if we apply 1 on q2 then we can go to q1 state we can go to q1 state why because after this one we can have one zero after this one we can have one zero so let us check whether our example whether our diagram is correct or not so here if you if you take the first input so on q naught one is applied so we move to the q1 state on q1 zero is applied we move to the q2 state so q2 is nothing but the final state which is accepted by the dfa if we if we use one zero one zero if we apply one on q naught then we will go to the q1 if we apply zero if we apply 0 on q1 we will go to the q2 state next if we apply 1 on q2 we will go to the q2 state if we apply 0 on q1 we will go to the q2 state so q2 is nothing but final state only if we consider the third example 1 double 0 if we apply 1 on q0 we will go to the q1 state if we apply 0 on q1 we will go to the q2 state if we apply 0 on q2 we will be at q2 state only so we can say that uh, the, all the strings are accepted by the dfa now let us see the second example if we understand the first example then uh, writing the dfa for the second example will become quite easy so what is the second example every string ends every string starts with zero and ends with one okay so the minimum string is zero one 
So every string is starting with 0 and ending with 1. Next, in between 0 and 1, we can have any number of zeros and 1s. There is no constraint on that. So every string is starting with 0, ending with 1. So let we have two 1s here. Okay. So likewise, we can have an infinite number of strings. Okay. Here, what is the minimum string? 0, 1 is the minimum string. So 0, 1 contains two characters. So our DFA will contain two plus one states, three states. Okay. So let the first state is Q0 state. Q0 is the starting state. Next state is Q1. Next one is Q2, where Q2 is the final state. What is the constraint here? Every string is starting with 0 and ending with 1. Okay. So next, uh, we have to apply the remaining symbols on the each and every state. So 1 is applied on uh, uh, Q0. So we have to apply 0 on Q1. We have to apply 0 and 1 on Q2. So let us see how we can do that. Here every string is starting with 0. Suppose if the string is starting with 1, then that string will not be accepted by the DFA. So it is not valid string. So that's why we have to go to the dead state or uh, hang state. So from the dead state or hang state, we cannot go to any other state. Okay. So here we have Q3 here. On Q3, we can apply any number of zeros and ones, but we will be at Q3 only. Uh, next, on Q1, we have to apply 0. Here, what is the constraint? Every string is every string is starting with 1 and ending with 1. So here, the string can end ends with 1. Uh, uh, 1 is already applied here. Here, we have to apply 0 on Q1. So after this 0, we can have 0, 1. So after this 0, let, let, let the string is like this. Okay. Here, every string is starting with 0. Every string is ending with 1. So in between, we can have any number of zeros. There is no constraint on that. So that's why I have taken self loop here. Next here, on Q1 also 0 is applied, 1 is applied. Next on Q2, we have to apply 0 and 1. Here every string is ending with 1. So we can take self loop 1 here. Okay. Next here, if we apply 0 on Q2, then we have to go to the Q1 state. Why? Because after this 0, we can have 0, 1 or we can have 1. So after this 0, if we have 1, then it specifies that uh, it is ending with 1 only. Or after the 0, we can have 0, 1. There is no problem on that. Why? Because our target is every string has to ends with 1 only. Okay. So in this way, we can solve uh, these two examples.